most of the time when we are camping, I am filming time lapses of either the sunrise or the sunset and sometimes all night long. And I often will go out and check on the camera as I'm doing that just to make sure the settings are correct. So sometimes it's pretty late in the night or early in the morning and I'm trying to sneak out of the trailer without waking up Jessica or the kids. And I'm generally able to be pretty quiet except for the steps here in the front of our trailer. They creak as they have weight put onto them. And also they don't go down to the ground. They don't transfer any weight to the ground. So as I'm stepping in or out of the trailer, as my weight transfers onto the steps, it rocks the trailer just a little bit. And I thought it would be nice to be able to use some steps that go straight to the ground. When Torquelift International agreed to send me their Glow Step Revolution steps, I thought this was a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade the steps on our trailer. And these have great adjustability. We're usually boondocking and, and all kinds of uneven terrain. So this will be helpful to match that terrain better. And being able to put some of the weight straight onto the ground will not have the trailer be rocking as people come and go. And so today's video is going to be an unboxing and review video of as I install these steps and then we'll go on a camping trip and try them out for the first time. This is the box that the steps came in and they also sent it with this extra piece which is the dirt destroyer. You hook this onto the side of the steps and then you can scrub off your shoes right on the sides and the bottom. So that's a nice little addition that they included. I've opened the box here and this is the steps in the box. They've got some uh, a sub box down beneath for some padding, I think. Also over here, there's a plastic bag with some components. So I'm gonna get this all pulled out and then I'll show you what was in it. Here are all the parts that came in that box. Of course, we have the big steps right here. That's the majority of it. And then we have, of course, the shoe cleaner here. These are some spacer plates. I'm not sure if I'll need those yet or not. The instruction manual and then a couple of bolts and nuts and washers, lock washers, and it came with an Allen wrench here for assembly. And so I'm going to get into the instructions now and see what I need to do. Uh, clearly they have a lot of good instructions here with pictures and uh, text to, to show you what to do. So I think this will work pretty well. I'm going to get into this and see how well it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get the old steps taken off first. In my case, there's just two bolts here and then two on the other side. And the nuts on these are uh, 9 16 So I'm going to go ahead and get these taken off. I have successfully put the steps hanging from the, the brackets here, the vertical brackets, and the bolts are just slipped in to hold it here. There's, it's not bolted on or anything. I just wanted to show briefly here the profile of how it is on our trailer, which is a Lance 2185 as a point of reference. This is a travel trailer type trailer. And we went with the three-step version. Two-step might have been more optimal, but I wanted it to have extra reach when we are in situations where the, the ground is farther away, which we sometimes do when we're boondocking and things are really uneven. So uh, we can pull up on this handle right here. And then once pulling out on that lever, all the steps come out. And then you just pull down on this and it comes out. And you can see how it is positioned right now for us. Uh, it's not uh, like we're on our RV pad here, so it's up higher than it will be when we're camping. It does have ad additional adjustability up here though. I can pull this lever up again and then pull the steps out even more. And that's as far down as it will go. And then it has the adjustable steps down here. So that's how it'll look. At least that's how it is right now with our uh, RV on its RV pad. But we can lower the trailer down some more or raise it up actually and move the steps up so that they just touch down on the top of the uh, cement there. In any case, I'm gonna finish bolting this down and then I'll continue to adjust it. And here is the final product. This was the easiest thing I have ever undertaken to install. I was actually kind of shocked at how easy it is. I literally took it out of the box you know, after removing the old steps, put in the two bolts on this side, two bolts on the other side. Uh, there is that uh, metal spacer, which you may or may not need, and I did. So I put it right here on both sides. And that's it. Uh, it's bolted on and it's now ready to go. And potentially if I needed, we'll take off one of these steps because this is the three step version and you can take out these steps. And I wanted to try this first and see how well it goes, uh, but it works amazingly well. I just love how easy it is to just pick up on these steps, push them together. And then you got to lift up on this lever right here, which I'll do with my knee, just like that. And then the reverse of that is you just push up on this lever right here, which I'll do with my knee, and then pull out on these steps. And then you can pull on them all the way out to their furthest extension. And then you can adjust it accordingly by pushing them in or out. 
depending on your need. And then down here on the feet, they have five steps of adjustability here on these. I have them fully uh, all the way in, but they can extend out further. And of course they can be adjusted independent of each other. So depending on how uneven the ground is, they should be able to uh, match the angle of the ground, no problem. And then up here with this lever, that you can push up on this. And then there are three steps of adjustability uh, going up and down on here. So if you look over at this bolt on the side, I'll push up on this lever and you can see that there's additional adjustability. So there it just fell into another cog. And then this is the next one down. Then this is the bottom level of adjustability. In my particular situation, because I have uh, this RV pad here that is parked on here at my house, the best solution for me is actually to leave the top step completely docked all the way like when you're going to be traveling. So you can see this bolt is all the way back here. The three levels of adjustability are here, here, and here. But if you put it all the way back, it basically makes that top step go away. And then I can just utilize these two bottom steps and those are pretty level and this will work perfect for us here when we're at home. And then when we're camping, depending on the situation, if we need less, we'll have it like this, or potentially we'll have all three out if we need to go farther to the ground, if we're leveling for uh, the front of the trailer being really high and the, the drop here is more. Also, when you have retracted the steps completely and put them away, over here we have a locking pin that is cabled to it so it won't get lost and you just pop that through has a ball bearing on the end of the locking pin so that it won't come out unless you tug on it. So that's perfect. Make sure that they don't come out when you're going down the road. One point of observation is that these do hang down lower than our prior steps did. In fact, I'll come over here to our back steps, which we still have, and fold these up. You can see the step is up here, but the support mechanism stops down here. So it's still hung down pretty good. I've measured the distance from the bottom of the trailer right up here, all the way down to the bottom edge of this support beam right there. And that's 10 inches. And if we come over here to this glow step from the bottom of the trailer right here, all the way down to the bottom tip of this foot, which keep in mind hangs down an additional about inch from this leg. This is 14 inches down to here. So this whole glow step revolution system is four inches lower than the prior step. And also I should point out that I installed these as high as they would go. If we look up here, you can see there's a layer of bolts here, here, and down here. And I used the top row because I was trying to, as much as possible, improve our ground clearance while off-roading. It's never gonna hit the ground on normal roads, but when we're off-roading, that could be an issue. We'll see down the road. And then regarding the brush for your shoes, that just goes right here on the side and you can put it on either right or left side and it can go on any of the steps anywhere down. So you can put it on whatever height you would like and it looks like it'll work great. Like I said before, this was the easiest RV installation I have ever undertaken. It was so quick and easy. I highly recommend these steps. We're gonna go on and take them on a camping trip now and we'll test them out in the real world. Our next trip in the trailer ended up being up American Fork Canyon past Tibble Fork Reservoir to the Granite Flat Campground, which has some really steep grades driving up there. We are arriving at our campsite. We happen to be in a campground because that's just the next campsite we ended up coming to. We have a group of friends here. We don't normally go to campgrounds. Regardless, we are at one and I'm gonna show you how the steps are working here. And as you can see, we're leveling for quite a bit of forward to backward leveling, not too much side to side. We just installed the LevelMate Pro and tested it on here. So I'll put a card above to that video if you're interested in seeing that, that was helpful here. But for this video, we have these steps that we just installed. So now we're going to pull those out for the first time. So as we talked about before, we got this pin, pull that out and then pull up on this uh, handle right here. And then it takes two hands to pull out the steps. All right, I've pulled the steps out and Lydia is gonna demonstrate coming down the steps. Go ahead, come out. Yeah, this is a good example of where having the three-step version is helpful because we are compensating for a lot of downward angle on the terrain. So we had to bring the trailer up a lot, which creates a bigger gap between this threshold and the ground. So we're using all three steps here just fine. The legs on the steps, you can see this one's adjusted all the way to the bottom and this one is adjusted just one step from the bottom. So that shows that it's now matching the angle of the ground and how it's lower on the right side. And then as far as the upper part of the adjustment goes, it's adjusted all the way up on these three. And there is a tiny bit more 
uh, or less of a drop right here, I think, than the rest of the steps, but they're actually really close to each other. So it feels like a nice gradual stepping up into the trailer, no big steps. Now Lydia is going to demonstrate how to install the Dirt Buster cleaner. Go ahead and put that on lid. Just like that. It just slots right in to the side here of the steps. And then you wanna show us clean your feet, Lydia. Perfect. Now your feet are nice and clean. Across the tops of the steps here, it has instructions on how to use them, which is kind of fun. Torque Lift is actually the same company that made the trailer hitch on our Tesla Model S, which I made videos about how to install. I'll put a card above to those videos if you're interested in checking them out. Overall, I am very happy with these steps. They are very robust the way they were built with aircraft grade aluminum and uh, the, the junctions between the different parts that move all have uh, vinyl washers and it looks like it will work for a really long time yet. So we'll continue to test these steps out on our future camping trips and I'm sure you'll see them and I'll report in those videos how well the steps have been working for us in the varied terrain that we park our trailer in. So with that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.